Ambassador Youssef Amrani, uh, Morocco's ambassador to South Africa. Thanks very much indeed for joining us on the program. Well, uh, it's always uh, Peter, to, a pleasure to be with you at, uh, at your channel Africa. Ambassador, the summit, uh, the 15th summit of BRICS is uh, underway uh, this week. Will Morocco be uh, represented, particularly at the uh, BRICS Africa Outreach Dialogue? No, Morocco won't uh, be uh, present at the uh, Outreach Dialogue for many reasons. First of all, because uh, uh, it is uh, not a BRICS meeting, it is a uh, meeting which has been uh, convened by the presidency of south africa the second element is that we are not we, it was it was a unilateral decision to convene this meeting and we were not consulted uh, uh, by the substance by the outcome and uh, so that's why the uh, the spokesman of the foreign ministry uh, today uh, have uh, expressed to the media the decision of morocco not to uh, participate mm. in this meeting. But this is, doesn't s signify that we are distancing from the grouping. We have a very strong relations with the uh, four members of the, uh, of the BRICS. We have uh, long-standing relations. We have even strategic par partnership. And we're also a member of other tools like the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the African Union and, and other uh, uh, international organization within, uh, within the, the UN. So today we are not participating because uh, we were not consulted on the outcome and on the objective of this meeting uh, uh, before. But this is, as I said earlier, doesn't mean that we, we're not uh, for the multilateralism to uh, strengthen the relations between other gr groupings. And of course, all these relations with of Morocco with the with the BRICS, it's a long-standing innovation. I said, as I said, allowed us over the years to cover a broad spectrum of political and economic cooperation on various bilateral, regional, and uh, international issues of uh, interest for all the parties. So we decided not to uh, uh, participate. Another issue, Peter, I want to 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 highlight is that uh, Morocco has uh, never applied to be member of the BRICS as it was uh, mentioned in some uh, media uh, sources in South Africa. We always uh, follow with great interest what BRICS is doing, what the, the, is the scope, the vision. We have even participated in the past in some uh, technical meetings, and especially also that the, the, the BRICS are still in the process of evaluating and uh, defining the criteria for the member countries who would like to join the BRICS. So the, we are not in, not in a hurry, and we haven't expressed anything about that. But we will follow uh, steadily all the, uh, the developments uh, and the practices of the uh, BRICS. Ambassador, you've raised a, a couple of issues. Uh, the first one, um, South Africa is the only representative uh, the only African nation in the BRICS grouping. And there's been almost an unwritten understanding that uh, South Africa um, presents the interests of the continent. On that basis, would it not be appropriate for South Africa to invite nations like Morocco to an outreach uh, on the sidelines of a BRICS summit? Well, uh, South Africa is a sovereign country. Morocco is a sovereign country. We have uh, tools within the African Union where we could have uh, discussed this issue. It was an, a neutral decision. Of course, South Africa has the right to invite uh, whom uh, and they want to invite. They have invited uh, some African countries, some other Latin uh, American countries like Venezuela, like uh, Cuba, and so on. Also Iran, some, uh, of course. But we wish, uh, uh, we wish if there will be some consultation, previous consultation, to understand what is the scope, we are not uh, against uh, any uh, initiative that will uh, help the African unity. Morocco is one of the founding fathers of the African Union. You remember Casablanca summit in 1961, we created African Union. We need to have some discussion 
and to share the views and the prospect, of course, because today I think we, we need to sit down together. We need to talk together in order to build a safe Africa and prosperous Africa and with the shared values, but with consultations. We will, of course, uh, we will see what will happen from this brief and then we can evaluate. But the first evaluation the foreign ministry of Morocco has done is not to participate in this meeting. Talk to us a little bit about the relationship between Morocco and South Africa. In your statement, it seems as if relations between the two nations are quite strained at this time. Well, the, the, the relations were, you know, I had the, with you an interview uh, four years ago when I came and expressed to you the vision. We came here to build a relation, to build a strong relation. Of course, uh, we disagree in some important issues which are important for Morocco, like the Sahara issue. Of course, we, the Sahara issue today is exclusively dealt with within the Security Council. The parameters are known, spirit of compromise, realism. Of course, uh, South Africa, we disagree on this issue, has an understand on this issue. But since the beginning, we, we open a dialogue. We want to strengthen the relations economically, politically. Uh, I don't know if one day we will reach uh, an agreement. But in any case, South Africa and Morocco are two important countries in Africa. One in the south, which is South Africa. One in the north, uh, which is Morocco. We are have uh, strong democratic rules, have a new experience develop an economic, because at the end of the day, Peter, and, and you know, the most important to today for us is not to uh, uh, use ideology or policies. The most important today for, for us as Africans is to build a safe Africa, stable Africa, where our women and our young generation could find jobs and create prosperity. This is the priority of Morocco, and this is the agenda that has been uh, uh, following Morocco with South Africa in its political dialogue. Ambassador, there's a very strongly worded uh, statement that's uh, come out from your country. And in part, it says it had thus become clear that South Africa was going to hijack this event from its nature and purpose to serve a hidden agenda. What does that mean? We, what we mean by this is that this gathering should respect its format, should respect its scope, and should respect its ambition. The ambition is to reform the international system. Its ambition, the BRICS ambition, is to create job, is to promote stability, is to promote peace. And I think this is, I think this is the vision that has been shared by Morocco and the other countries of the of, of the BRICS. No, to bring some issues which are dealt with, with in other fora, like the UN, for example, Security Council on the Sahara issue, on the situation in Sahel and South Sudan. In the African Union, I don't think it is the appropriate gathering of fora where to spread division. The most important for us is to create unity, to work with our partners in order to reform. And we need to be united. You need to work together in order to move forward. Ambassador Yusuf Amrani, uh, Morocco's ambassador to South Africa. Thank you very, very much indeed for joining us. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Peter. No, it's always a pleasure to talk to you.